in the book of Revelations, chapter 6, verses 12 and 13, it says, And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken with a mighty wind. In the book of Moses, chapter 7, verse 61, it says, And the day shall come that the earth shall rest, but before that day the heavens shall be darkened, and the veil of darkness shall cover the earth, and the heavens shall shake, and also the earth in great tribulation shall be among the children of men. But my people will I preserve. In Joseph Smith, Matthew, uh, verse 33, it says, And immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. In Doctrine and Covenants, oh, not Moses. In Doctrine and Covenants, Section 45, verse 42, it says, And before the day of the Lord shall come, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall be turned into blood, and the stars shall fall from heaven. In section 34, or, yep, section 34, verse 9, it says, but before that great day shall come, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall be turned into blood, and the stars shall refuse their shining, and some shall fall, and great destructions await the wicked. In section 29, verse 14, it says, But behold, I say unto you that before this great day shall come, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall be turned into blood, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and there shall be greater signs in heaven above, and in the earth beneath. And then finally in the Book of Mormon, in Second Nephi 23, verse 10, it says, For the stars of heaven and their constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And then finally, the last verse that I wanted to talk about that talked about the darkening of the sun is in 3 Nephi, and it's actually talking about Christ's first coming. But I personally believe that the account of Christ's first coming in the Book of Mormon is a strong parallel to what will happen in the last days. And um, so starting in verse 19, it says, And it came to pass that when the thunderings and the lightnings and the storm and the tempest and the quakings of the earth did cease, for behold, they did last for the space of about three hours. And it was said by some that the time was greater. Nevertheless, all these great and terrible things were done in about the space of three hours. And then, behold, there was darkness upon the face of the land. And it came to pass that there was thick darkness upon all the face of the land, insomuch that the inhabitants thereof, who had not fallen, could feel the vapor of darkness. And there could be no light because of the darkness, neither candles, neither torches, neither could the fire be kindled with their fine and exceedingly dry wood, so that there could not be any light at all. And there was not any light seen, neither fire nor glimmer, neither sun nor the moon, nor the stars, for so great were the mists of darkness upon which were upon the face of the land. So the sun will be darkened before God comes again before Christ comes again, the the world will become darker. And I think that God can fulfill that in a variety of ways. It could be through, there could be pollutions, there could be a volcano. Um, we could try some crazy strategy to prevent global warming and launch a bunch of reflective particles into the atmosphere, which darkens the sun. Um, there could be storms, um, weather events, causing great storm clouds which make the earth darker um or it could be something else it could be an eclipse it could be it could be one of many things and we'll probably be able to see the natural phenomenon it'll look like clouds but the sun will be darkened and we can know that that is one of the signs of the times and i'm sure that lots of people will see that sign and they'll say oh it's just clouds or oh it's just an eclipse or oh it's just the fact that um, we've launched a bunch of reflective particles in the air, but 
but those who believe will be able to say, hey, that's one of the signs of the times that God has said repeatedly that the sun will be darkened and the moon will be darkened and that we won't be able to see the stars. Maybe it'll even be light pollution. We can't see as many stars now as we could in the past and several stars in that sense have fallen from the sky already compared to what the prophets of old have seen. Um, but yeah, so the sun will be darkened before the coming of the Lord.